Assalamualaikum My name is Noor Izzaminti Jasmine And my metric number is 060032 I hold a position as a programmer in this project The subject of my talk is The introduction of vending machine A vending machine is an automatic machine That offers a variety selection of goods To consumers such as Snack, beverage, frozen newspaper Fruits, vegetable and salad This machine are available 24/7 and it depends upon the quantity of money and the goods you desire. A wholesaler offer a product to consumer after cash, a credit card or a specially designed card is inserted into the machine. In the early 18th century, the first modern vending machine were established and postcard were dispensed in England where coins actuated honor boxes were used to sell snuff and tobacco. This they are vending machine in various nations and specialized sell machine that supply less typical product in more recent years than conventional sell machine. This business has thrived this day and are likewise modernizing. Why you still clearly observe how normal coins or paper funds are inserted in specific places. Sellers also embracing cashless transactions by using QR code to make the payment more efficient and convenient. Furthermore, vending machine commonly used in school, university, recreation center, health care facility and diverse workspace. My name is Siti Noor Nafisa, metric number 059768. There are several methods that can be used to gather information from users. Among them are interviews, questionnaires, observations and data collections. However, because of the COVID-19 pandemic that greatly affects the daily life of every community, we choose to use the questionnaire method as our main method to obtain information from users and obtain a large number of respondents. Therefore, we use Google Form as our platform. In addition to users having to fill in their basic information, we also provide total of 20 questions with several answer options to make it easier for users to simply click on the answer without having to think. After that, we distribute the link of Google Forms to the public as in person groups and WhatsApp status. In this way, this not only simplifies the work of our group to obtain the information but also make it easier for users to provide the information that we need in this project. Hi, my name is Sitini Shuzwani Izati Betty Moana and my metric number is 060293. And now, after using the method that has been explained, these are some of the gathering requirements and analysis that we got. Now, let's have a look at this pie chart. We start our questionnaire with the basic question, which is their name, gender, age, and occupation. As you can see here, most of our respondents are female and only a small portion of male respondents. Next graph shows the result of a survey by the ages. The majority of our respondents are between 19 and 29, and from this age pie chart, so we can just predict what type of their occupation. From the questionnaire, we got like almost all of our respondents are students and a very small portion are employees. So after we got all the basic information, we start with our very first and basic question that is related to our vending machine project, which is whether they have used the vending machine before. If you look at this pie chart, only 3% answer no, which means that most of them are already familiar with the vending machines. We also ask them about their opinion on the best place to put a vending machine. School and colleges get the most paid among the choices since most of our respondents are students. And now, we will focus on the next pie chart. For this, we ask the respondent now how often they use the vending machine. From the pie chart, it is clear that almost half of them only use it once every few months, followed by once every couple of weeks with 23%. From this, we can see that people are rarely use vending machine. So we ask them whether there are any problems when they use the vending machine. Even though 28% of the respondent uh, answer yes, there's still more room for, for improvement until people won't face any kinds of problem when they use a vending machine. The most common problems they face is when their money is not accepted and the money is stuck in the machine. So to solve the problems, we asked them whether they wanted to use scan and go payment to prevent the same problem happening again. 
If you look at the bar chart, you can see that most of them agree with this kind of method. Overall, we can see that vending machines can be upgraded so that it will be more favored by people. Assalamualaikum and hello, my name is Siti Fatima Binti Azharuddin and my tweet number is 05985. I want to talk about the problem that users always face while using the vending machine and what are the solutions for all of these problems. Firstly, first we suggest to make the cashless payment. Uh, why we suggest that? It is because from the data that has been collected, we have detected that our user persona which is Ahmad Badrul Mustafa and Siti Nur Naziha have faced problem regarding money which is face issue accepting bank notes, struggle with the changes in coins and sometimes the money stuck in the vending machine. So by using cashless payment, they just need to print their phone to scan the QR code that have been provided on the vending machine. And I'm pretty sure that everyone must print their phone whenever they are out. Secondly, Upgrading the quantity of an item that can be bought. We also got complaint from user saying that they can only purchase an item on a single buy. So if the user wanted to buy the next item, they have to redo the process. This will result in time consuming to the user, especially for the user who is in a rush. We have a solution for this problem by upgrading the quantity of an item up to five items in one purchase by using our apps where the apps were connected automatically with the machine. Thirdly and lastly, variety of food and drinks. These also complain that most of vending machines provide the food and drinks which does not correspond to their daily life. And same thing that happened to our user persona, Nur Hazima said that there are no healthy food provided in the vending machine and students end up eating junk food as their breakfast before attending the class. So we suggest to provide a variety of food and beverage in according uh, with the daily life of people surrounding so that it can make their day active without facing any health problem. Hi, my name is Rafiza Binti Ismail and my magic number is 060212. I will show about the design evaluation for our project. It's our design evaluation. Uh, our project is vending machine story about user using our application named Gen Z QR code vending machine. Okay, next let's talk about prototyping low and high fidelity prototype. Okay, for the low fidelity prototype, we have done four types of design. And the first one is the second design is the design fourth design. Last high fidelity prototype description. This is our prototype high fidelity prototype. When user open our application the Gen Z QR code with the machine, the first interface will appear. User need to click the scan here button to scan QR code. In menu interface, the food and beverage button will appear. After click the food button, it will lead user to the list of foods menu. User can choose on how many quantity of the item that they want. However, there is a limit for it which is 5 for each item and user need to click button add to cut next uh, if user click add beverage button it will lead user to the list of beverage menu and user need to click the buy button to proceed the order after that shopping chart will appear that list the food and beverage that user select and in this shopping chart interface a total of the food and beverage will appear user need to click the payment button to proceed the payment the interface payment user need to select which payment method that user want to use after the payment is done uh, the last interface will appear that is payment success successful all the high fidelity description.